Moving on to the next leadership style, which is 1-9, or we also call it the country club or accommodating style. Now, this style has a high concern for people, but a low concern for production. Now, considering the concern for people is really high, the employees are generally very happy because they don't have to get into any kind of conflict. Um, they're pretty much a good harmony in the team. However, since there is a low concern for task, there will always be a low productivity. No matter how happy is the team, it will not survive for a very long time. Moving on to the bottom right hand side, which is 9-1 leadership tile, which is the dictatorial, produce, perish or control. So concern for people is low, but concern for production is really high. I'm sure you must have seen these kind of leaders during your tenure in the professional um, organizations. Now, considering that the impact of the concern on the production is really high, the organization has a high, um, you know, succeeding percentage as compared to the previous style that we have talk, spoken about. But the employees will definitely have a high level of disencouragement. There will be a lot of time while there will be conflict between the employees and the leader. And generally what happened, considering the leader is kind of dictatorial, they would like to make sure that their terms and conditions are being followed. Why? Because they, they are all concerned about is the task or the production. Now moving on to the really good one which an organization needs, which is 9-9 style, a sound leader. That means the concern for production and the concern for people is high. So employees are generally happy, they are satisfied. Whatever they are doing, they enjoy their work. There's a low turnover of employees in the organization. They don't want to leave. They want to perform really well. There's a healthy competition. It generally attract high skill employees. The organization is always on the efficient side. That's what we really want the leaders to be, 9-9. Nine, nine. Now in this leadership grid, there were two important tangents that were introduced later, which is called the paternalistic style. Now this leader generally moves between 1-9 and 9-1. So from the top left tangent to the bottom right. So if you look at the grid, the leader keeps moving from 1-9 and 9-1. They kind of behave a little like the parents that we have. Sometimes they're concerned for the production increases and sometimes they're concerned for people increases. So they're just juggling between the two but not keeping like a very balanced approach. And last but not the least, there's a style which I'm sure all of you would relate to. It's called the opportunistic style. Now this is a leadership style where the leader is just capitalizing on the opportunity. He or she will be extremely cautious of taking the side which has the highest majority, not taking into consideration who's right or wrong. Why? Because the leader is opportunistic. He or she will move to the side which is heavier, stronger, or more beneficial for him or her more than anything else. And opportunistic styles don't survive for long or the organization will never do really well. So by telling you a little bit about the, the grid, I wanted to tell you that in an organization you will find all leadership styles. None of them are good or bad. However, our endeavor, our interest is if we move our behavior from a 1991-1155 paternalistic, opportunistic to the sound leader who is 99, where the concern for people and concern for task is both high. And I'm sure you guys will become that leader in POSCO. Have a good time. Thank you.